Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you my friend William Sims art book. This is a very thick art book because it collects close to 10 years of his work. William is a friend of mine from the Urban Sketches Singapore group. I met him a few years ago during one of the sketch walks. I cannot remember which one. Anyway, uh, we have been drawing for a few years. You see him a lot in those cafe sketching videos that I make. So other than urban sketching, he is actually a full-time illustrator, a painter. So this is his art book that collects close to 10 years of his work. So it's very comprehensive. This is priced at 99 Singapore dollars. It's quite expensive, but I mean, if you take a look at the quality of the book, the art, the production quality, um, I would say that it's worth the money. This is only sold at selected museums and studios. I'll try and find out where exactly this is sold and put those information in the video description below. For those who want to buy this book, you would have to contact William directly. This art book comes with 13 alternate covers. So this is one of the 13 and they are actually high quality prints that you can swap out for the actual cover. So each print has a Chinese character, which um, I'm not very good at Chinese or Mandarin, so I cannot tell you how to pronounce this word or what this actually means. But uh, there are some translation here. So this is Stan Stalman. Hmm, I'm not sure what that means. This is Homeland. This is Clean. This looks like a lionfish. This is right. The typography here, it's really beautiful. So these are some of his works. The paper quality is fantastic. This is matte surface print. This is really high quality print. So in addition to the book itself, you are also getting these prints. I'm not sure if my camera can capture the texture of the paper, but it's really nice. The paper quality here reminds me of Japanese art books, so that says a lot. These are really beautiful watercolor paintings. You will also see these artworks inside the book, of course. Wow, check out this. This is actually a sculpture, a physical sculpture. It's really beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the book. This is a 288-page paperback art book. So the cover here, you can swap out the cover art. There are actually two prints here. So this is where you can swap out the art. And this part here, this is pasted to the art book and you can see the stitching here on this side. This type of stitching allows you to open the book completely flat. The paper used for this book is clearly very high quality. It's quite thick. This is matte surface and you can see that the paper is actually off white compared to white paper. And the colors they reproduce really well on this paper. And this book is actually a mix of um, different colored papers like the off-white and the white. So now we have the white paper. His watercolor artworks, they are really very detailed. These are actually quite large. This is um, 49 cm by 39 cm if, I'm, if I read it correctly. So that's quite a large piece of work. Many of his illustration actually features this little watermelon boy. He is usually hiding somewhere in the artwork. So sometimes it can be quite fun to try and find where that watermelon boy is in the drawing. It's here. These are watercolor paintings framed with wood. The aesthetic of the book really reminds me of um, the company Muji, which is very known for their simplicity.
really beautiful. If you haven't checked out my video on his exhibition, you should do so because I interviewed him regarding some of the artworks that you see here. So he's very inspired by nature, his toy collection, and many of his works have um, a deeper meaning to them. Take a look at the details in this painting. So to paint something like this, you definitely need a lot of patience. This is actually one of the old school playgrounds that we used to have in Singapore. There will be a sand pit below and some of these structures, they are quite high. So little kids, they can climb up all the way, run around. But nowadays, we don't see this anymore. It's replaced by those playgrounds with the rubber mat below and those springy rides. Um, it's not as fun compared to our old playgrounds. You can see that all these are really imaginative. This is a building on a flying ship, a fantasy sort of painting. Some of the illustrations, they actually remind me of the artworks and the films of Miyazaki because they are sort of like fantasy based, very imaginative, very creative. I bet there are a lot of stories behind each painting. These are imaginative houses and on these houses are actually posters of old Hong Kong films. I'm not sure what's the story behind. There are no other captions other than the, the size of the painting and the name of the art. Oh, I'll put a link to his Instagram page so that you can check out more of his work online. I have a feeling that this Review is going to be a bit long because there's just so much work to be seen. So this is actually a drawing and illustration on wood frame. There's no mention in the book as to when the works were created. If I remember correctly from William, this is one of his earlier works. So his earlier works, they are a bit simpler and now his works, they are more complex, more complicated and more detailed, such as this one here. So as mentioned earlier, you can open up the book totally flat, completely flat. This sort of binding works well when you have artwork that goes across two pages. But um, from what I can see, most of the artworks are actually printed on one uh, on its own page. Oh, this is where it really works well. So these are some of his sketchbook pages. We have been on a few sketching trips together and it was really fun to sketch with your friends. With your group of friends. These are some of the old shop houses that we have here in Singapore. These are the shop fronts. Usually the ground floor is the shop and the second floor upwards they are for residential use. More drawings of buildings. So the amount of work he has created over the years is pretty impressive. Let's do a quick flip through for the last few pages. He's also very good at drawing food. Pastries. So 
all these are actually food. Some of them are local food here in Singapore. So this is the sculpture that you saw much earlier. This is actually a collaboration with another guy called Lush Tan. Yep. And these are actually very difficult to make because, I mean, sculptures are always very difficult to make. And some of the difficulty comes in the painting, especially when you have to paint, for example, with this particular fish. You can see all the color patterns on the body of the fish, but some of the color are actually behind this fin and those areas that are hidden behind other parts, those are really difficult to paint because you only have a very tiny area to work with. I like the simplicity of the sculptures and they are very cartoon-like. So that's the watermelon boy again. Watermelon boy here. Seems that many of these sculptures, they feature watermelon boy. The fighting fish in a glass. This is also a sculpture. This is pretty, um, it's really difficult to make this. I'm very sure of it. This is a very iconic building in, uh, this is an ver this is a very iconic building in one of the older neighborhoods here in Singapore. And this is actually another building from another area. So these two are merged together. And there's this little hermit crab here. And this little branch here. This is very beautiful. This is sort of like a floating house. So you know that Miyazaki, he has this movie called House Moving Castle. That's why when I look at some of William's artwork, it reminds me of Miyazaki's uh, creations. So that's the last piece of work in this book. This is a fantastic collection of artworks from William. The book itself, it's already a piece of art on its own. The price, 99 Singapore dollars. I'm not sure how much that translates to US. I'll put all the pricing information and where we can buy it in the video description below so that you can um, check that out. So that's all for my book review today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.